Hello everyone and welcome to Iba Academy. My name is Choma. Today, we are going to talk about common terms used to refer to sexual activities in Igbo language. Common terms used to refer to sexual activity in Igbo language. So, to have sexual activity, we all know it's called irotu in Igbo language. But most of the time, you hardly hear people saying it because they would like to say it in a lighter way. In a lighter way, because it wrote to, it's just, it sounds somehow in the air. The, 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 the Igbos consider sex as a very sensitive and delicate subject. They don't just start talking about it anyhow. So they consider it as very sensitive and very delicate. In Igbo culture, the man is supposed to be the dominant, to be do, he's supposed to be dominant and take action. He's supposed to do the chasing. Why the woman is supposed to agree or not? If she wants, she agrees, she accepts. She accepts the chase. The, 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 the man is supposed to do the chasing. It means it is called each wine. He's supposed to chase a woman as a man. Why the woman is supposed to say yes or no? The Igbos believe that sex is a, is a mutual thing. Having sex with another person is a, a mutual thing. The two of you have to agree. There's no, there's no word for rape in Igbo language. In, in Igbo, Igbo culture, it is not believed that a man can rape can use force, which is rape, to, to achieve sexual desire. No. The Igbo culture doesn't believe that something like that happens. It's just as we started going out into the world, we started saying that things like that used to happen. But in our culture as Igbo people, we don't believe that anything like rape happens. A man just is a woman, goes after a woman, tries to, if he's in bias ahead, they'll say, razo a woman, try to Scatter, scatter her dada. You try to wash her, wash her head. You have to. You try to talk good, good things into her head. And if she agrees, fine. If she doesn't agree, you leave her and go next. Uh, go on to the next one. You don't force yourself on a woman. So the common terms used to refer to sexual activity. One is nkozo. Nkozo. When a man tells you, eh, all these things I'm doing is because of the other one. Because means the other one, the other thing. That is in cause. So when a man tells you, actual you should know that he's talking about sex. You should know that she's talking about having a sexual, sexual union with you. Number two is ipokwe. Ipokwe means to play. To play seed game. Actually, on me, okay. You know this, what the, the young people call it ayo. The 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 people call it okay. This you pick the seeds, you move from gradually you eat so you you win you win over somebody's 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 seeds and house to your own side. So they believe that to have sexual activity you have to Woo the woman first. You have to go to her and woo her, talk to talk to her, do good things for her, tell her your intentions. If she believes that it's true, she will go with you. If she doesn't, she will not. So it's like it will quick. That's another one. The next one is equaiko. If someone say he wants to quaiko, it means fornication or adultery. Or iboko so. Equal uh, is fornication, and Ibo so is adultery. Actually, Ibo Okoso. This is one test. Actually, Ibo Okoso. You know that that person, that person is already married. It's adultery. Okoso is one game we play when we are small. People still play it now. You put a, a battery, the head of a battery, the cover, the blue cover, like tiger battery, the blue cover, and you bring a big pen, the cover of the pen. You, you play it on the uh, you play it and it dances as an ego so when you hear ego so how they 
the 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 toy dances on the floor that is okusu so that's ipo kusu and ipo ipo then number four we have ikonkwa ikonkwa means to play or beat musical instrument when someone says that you're me konkwa you should know what the person is talking about the person wants to have sex with you actually me konkwa the ables believe that it takes two to tango they 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 that the sexual activity is supposed to be like a musical beating a musical instrument playing a musical instrument everybody is supposed to play their own part for you to achieve what you want then number five we have iparaku iparaku means to plug palm fruit actually iparaku actually iparaku you know the person talking about sexual activity iparaku means to plug palm fruit the palm fruit from the palm tree there if, if you want to, the apple is the palm fruit when you cut it down from the tree you see thorns all over the fruit so for you to pick the fruit you have to be very careful so that the thorns will not trick you you have to take your time to pick it one by one and if you eat it it is very very sweet so that's how they relate sexual activity to you have to take your time to groom the woman groom the lady as a man because i've, I've told you here before that the the men are the dominant uh to be the to be the dominant and to take action they are supposed to do the chasing while the woman accepts or not they, they have the they have the access to accept or not they can say yes or no it is left for them so to you go through all the pains of winning that woman so that you can eat the the the, the, the sweet fruits of the palm nut. Then number six, in one way, in one way means to have oneself. They both believe that at the end of every sexual activity, you're supposed to be very okay. You're supposed to be happy. You are supposed to move with you. You're supposed to have yourself. Number seven, irive. <laughs> Irive, I'm not like because of Anambara Pipacho and Irive. Irive means to eat something. I want to eat something. Or Unindio Kenyi. Actually, Unindio Kenyi. So, they don't believe that children should be having sexual intercourse. It's for grown ups. It's for people that are grown and matured. So, Unindio Kenyi, actually, Irive means I want to have sexual activity with you. Then, number eight. Actually, me say go, he say go. Back to the palm palm tree. Before you can get to the palm fruit, you have to pull out the palm front that is covering the fruit, so that you can have access to the fruit. That you can then start picking one by one. So he say go means to. You have to do all the work. The we work. To get a woman, that's this saying. You're talking about sexual activity too. Then number uh, nine, actually, ipowa, ipowa means to create or to make a part. To create owa, owa is root. See, ipowa is means to to clear. It's just like to clear a bush, to clear a part. Again, they see a like having a sexual activity as preparation. You have to prepare. You have to clear your parts. You have to create a path. You have to create a road. Clear the bush on the path. You have to clear all that things by winning the woman and by doing all that things that you have to do so that you can have sexual activity with her. Then the next one and the penis, the penis of the man. Is seen as the cutlass that is is going to clear the bush so that you can create a road and you know so if someone tells you actually or actually or just not even talking about having sexual intercourse with you then number 10 ipioko ipioko means to strike a plate so cool we know oku is fire but this breakable plate that's like ceramics, this 
plates that is made with clay that are used in the villages in those olden days to eat, to store water, and to to eat is oko. Oko. So this oko is like a very cher a cherished plate that every household has. So everybody everybody is very careful not to break it. So when you, you cherish something so much and you you strike you strike it by yourself is an achievement. So if your cool means to break a plate and that's how it's on there it tells you actually me pure just know that the person is sending you on to have a sexual intercourse with you. Then number eleven Ichieze. Ichieze means to crown king. Ichigo means that I've been crowned the king there. You know these drafts that we used to play a game, it is a game called draft. It's just like chess for the Yubu people. You you attack your opponent, you win over their 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 okay. Sorry. Yes. You win over all their seeds and you go to the best inside, the best thing makes you a king there. Just like chess. So you have to win over your opponent because a woman doesn't have only one person that is going after her. She doesn't have only one shooter. She doesn't have only one man that sees her and finds her beautiful and attractive. She has many of them. So you have to conquer all of them to be the one that she chooses. That's each year's. Actual me years. So if you're your wife and your, your husband is telling actual me years, you know what he's talking about. So that is it about the common terms used to refer to sexual activity. I'll go through them again. Nkozo, Ibo Okwe, Ikwa Eko O, Ibo Okoso, Iko Nkwa, Iparako, Irive, Iseigu, Ipo Onwa, Ipo Owa, Ipioko, Ichieze. So these are the terms you can there are many others you can put your own you can add yours in the comment section thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe